Hello friends, uh, how are you? Uh, hopefully all of you are good and uh, doing well in your studies and education related to your intensive studies. Uh, today we are going to learn about I, one of the one of the small topic of IFRS 15 that is sale on a bill and hold basis. That is where you bill uh, the customer but hold the goods. Like uh, we have already covered a few small topics of IFRS 15 in my previous videos. So, uh, but this would be in English, obviously. Uh, this one was in Hindi and Urdu. So let's start uh, with the topic. So a uh, bill and hold, uh, like I said, bill and hold sale is simply one where the entity has invoiced the customer for a product, but the entity still has a physical position of this product. Uh, are you getting the point? So that means the entity or a company has sold the goods to the customer. Obviously, uh, this would not be the case in the form of in the uh, if, if there is a case of service. So it is, is only possible and mostly in most cases, this would only be possible in goods form. So if there is a good, then it is possible that if and that the company has sold the goods to the customer, but uh, they have not given the physical position. But if I talk about uh, uh, an example, for example, a company has sold mangoes to a customer, uh, but a customer asked the company to hold those uh, mangoes and uh, and already have paid to the company. Customer has already paid to the company but not picking up the mangoes from the uh, company's premises. So that means uh, that is a, and uh, the most important thing, one more thing, that company has also invoiced the customer for those mangoes. So this could be the uh, best example to understand. So let's continue. Uh, means, uh, means the physical position is with, uh, although the control has transferred to the customer, but the physical position is still uh, is with the company, right? So let's move uh, further. Uh, if, we, uh, if I talk about this para, uh, however, the usual principle applies if control has passed to the customer, then the entity may recognize the revenue, even though the entity still has a physical position uh, of the course. Remember, physical position is only one aspect of control. Uh, that doesn't mean that the country uh, company has a physical position then it uh, then the company also controls the goods right moving further uh, thus in a bill and hold situations we must assess whether control has passed that is the most important thing because you know uh, if you talk if you talk about ifrs 15 uh, like i uh, like i earlier said we are covering ifrs 15 so this is one of the topic of ifrs 15 revenue so the most important aspect in IFRS 15, if you talk about the steps of IFRS 15, the control should be transferred to the customer. Otherwise, you can't recognize or record the revenue. So that is why they are focusing more on control, right? Uh, control has passed to the customer. If the customer is able to direct the use, like if you have purchased a car from a, uh, from a showroom, and if you can't control the car, or, or you don't have the uh, authority to direct the use of that car, then that means you don't have a control and you cannot recognize revenue. And if, a, if, if you are a company, for example, if you are a company, then you have to report the revenue as well. So in that case, uh, you, if you are selling a, com a car to the customer, you can only recognize revenue like I, uh, again and again said in my previous videos as well, like uh, you have, you can only record revenue if you have transferred the current control to the customer right uh, for, uh moving further uh, so where uh, we were where we uh, we are we were here if the customer is able to directly use the product and obtain substantially all the remaining benefits from the product right for control to have passed in a bill and hold situation we must also ensure that the following additional criteria are met these are the few criteria that I, IFRS 15 has mentioned in, 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 uh, in the main standard that uh, you have to meet uh, these following criteria uh, uh, which uh, in, in, in order to uh, identify whether the 
sale is on a bill and hold arrangement right uh, let's uh, let's look at uh, these uh, criteria number one is the reason for the bill and hold arrangement must be substantive means that should be substantive or clarified right like example the customer have requested it yes in most of the cases the case would be like the customer would be requesting the company uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, make an arrangement on bill and hold uh, basis right uh, in because a company can't uh, say on its own basis because uh, in, uh, if if we take an example if a company is asking that we can afford we can afford to hold your goods uh, on our premises obviously they must have uh, the company must have uh, premises as well to hold those uh, goods second the most important point is this the product must be separately identified they can't be mixed with their company can't be uh, can't mix those products with their own like uh, if you if we talk about unilever unilever have lots of uh, if they, unilever is making a lot of shampoos and they have an uh, arrangement of such type then they must separately identify uh those arrangement based those goods uh, separately in their go down right uh, if they are, they have made uh, some arrangement with their customer say so they should be identified separately as they are belonging with the a b c or uh, x customer right the product must be ready for physical transfer to the customer means uh, if customer comes today uh, to uh, pick up their uh, pick up his goods so that that they should be separately identifiable and can be uh, can be picked up on a immediate basis right uh, we are moving further and the entity must not have the ability to use the product or direct to it to another customer it shouldn't be the case the company uh, is coming and uh, picking those uh, uh, arranged arrangement uh, based goods to the other customer so the whole and sole Uh, we can say in last that the whole wholly and solely the whole uh, control should be with the customer not the company and the customer should uh, direct the use of those goods right as you are taking the example of mango right you can consider that uh, moving further if all of these criteria are met then control is said to have passed to the customer obviously like i said earlier as well in the video and revenue must be must then be recognized however since the entity is effectively providing storage for the customer the entity must assess whether the provision of storage is another separate performance obligation like i said whether or not the company has the space or storage capacity to hold those goods for the customer means in no, uh, in various cases if we talk about uh, larger corporations or organizations they provide storage services as well as a separate performance obligation because there are, there were two performance obligation one was to sell the goods the other one was to hold the goods there are two separate performance obligation so the company will be charging uh, or uh, would be charging uh, two different prices for the two uh, different arrangements right so this should be uh this should be identified whether there are separate performance obligation or not in which case the customer transaction price would need to be allocated between the obligation to transfer the product and provide storage services because there are two separate performance obligation let me highlight it separate performance obligation this one and uh, in in this example like uh, in mangoes Uh, they they were providing transfer of the product and provide uh, they were providing the storage services to hold those goods to make an sale and uh, uh, bill uh, bill and hold basis arrangement. So hopefully you uh, you learned this concept uh, and if you have, if you have any queries you can. comment uh, below uh, on uh, below my video and a like share and subscribe to my channel uh, i will be back with a new video over ipr shifting or any other topic uh, uh, so uh, like share and uh, subscribe thank you so much for watching my video we will see you again thank you